Hi everyone. Uh, what I'm going to talk about is the metallic cartridge case development, or the self-contained case. Um, the development of the first metallic uh, cartridges began with a Frenchman named Louis Flaubert in 1845. Um, his design was, well, pretty simple actually. It was very similar to this right here that I'm pointing to. This is a CB cap here. Um, but his was the basic copper jacket, priming compound, and a round ball. Later on, uh, it was developed uh, you know, with a conical ball, and th that's when it became the CB cap. Um, Smith & Wesson took, it, uh, uh, took his design, and um, apparently, I don't know who was there, Smith or Wesson, one of them was over in Paris, and they went to a party, and they were popping balloons or Flaubert's as they call them, uh, with these CB caps as a party favor with these little revolvers. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, whichever one it was, decided, hey man, this would be great for killing people back in, back home. So they went and uh, uh, he, he went down to Flaubert's shop, bought everything he had, brought it back, and they started to work on, on, uh, on, on this. What they came up with, basically, was they extended the case, as you can see here, they put a 29 grain bullet on it, and the first uh, self-contained cartridge comes out in 1857, um, and it's the 22 short. Uh, now, Tyler Henry is accredited with uh, the large bore uh, rimfire self-contained cartridge, the 44 Henry, but this is uh, but he didn't come out until 1860. Uh, with his, just in time for the Civil War. Um, but uh, this here is the first, uh, the 22 short is the first self-contained metallic cartridge. Um, later on, they extended the case even further and just used the same 29 grain bullet. Um, and what you have is the 22 long. Um, the 22 long gives about an extra 100 foot, uh, uh, feet per second. Um, it's, uh, well, it's, it's a usable round, uh, but that was in, uh, I believe, 1871. Yeah, that was 1871 that came out. Then, 16 years later, they came out with the long rifle, which is the 40 grain bullet, which is probably the most highly it took a long time <laughs> to go from this, 1857, to this, 1886. And this is what we have today. Now, of course, there's been anywhere, I, I guess, close to 100 different wind fires. Like this. Uh, they're even developing new ones now. You, you have the 17 uh, uh, rim fire cartridge that's out today. Um, um, you know, uh, I suspect there'll be even more in the future. And then you have the Winchester, uh, 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 the Winchester Rimfire Mag cartridge, which is a spectacular cartridge that has a lot of power. Uh, but, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm not going to go into those right now. But basically, what you have is um, it starts with the something similar to this. This is actually the, I guess you could say, the first uh, metallic cartridge, um, and this is this one here is just a CB cap. Uh, in Canada, we call them BB caps, um, done by CIL, um, and all it is is a primer, bullet, and uh, case. Then we go to the 22 short. They had a powder charge. Smith & Wesson used black powder, but now they use smokeless powder. Then you go on to your 22 long and your 22 long rifle, which we're all familiar with. And these are just some of the... I have this thing about 22s. If I'm at a yard sale or something like that and I see a box of 22, uh, I'll, I'll even ask people. I'll say, look, um, you got, I, I, I collect 22 ammunition. You got any old 22 shorts or longs or long rifles there you want to get rid of? And I can usually pick them up at a good price. Uh, this is left over from when I used to do target shooting. 
I used to use PMC target. Um, um, I found that quite nice. And I used to use this stuff in the semis. Alright, I found that worked really nice in the semis. And I've got this. And was this here? This uh, I like this. This is 22 long rifle. Right? That's an old box there. I don't know when that would have been produced. About 100 cartridges, long rifle. And uh, copper. <laughs> copper cases. So that's quite old. Right? And this is. IBI or Imperial that were bought out. And this is the last lot. And well, of course you got your Winchester here and these are longs. And then look at this. 97 cents. Uh, 50 rounds of 22 short. 97 cents. Right. A lot of Kamer. Right. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about you know, the, the, the 22 and you know, these are, you know, I love the 22. I really do. I think it's a, a, a great gun. It um, has so many purposes. So, anyway, you know, like, these here are fun to shoot. The only thing is, is they're hard to find, and I don't shoot them that often. Um, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, they just go... <laughs> Basically, you hear the sound of the action go, right? That's about it. So anyway, till the next time.